Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Siya ang tanggulan natin sa mga bagyo. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Sino rito yung nakaranas ng mga pagsubok ng buhay? Mabibigat na pagsubok ng buhay. Sino yung gusto makaranas? It's one of us experience, amen, trials and problems. And uh, without God, no, we cannot bear all the problems and trials that are happening in our lives. We encounter trials and problems almost every day of our lives. Amen. If Jesus is not on our side, no, there's no victory. First Corinthians 15.57 But thanks be unto God, First Corinthians 15.57 says, Thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Palakpangan natin ang Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. You know, my father died at very young, at very young age at the age of 32. I was just a year old or about a two years old. About two years old. My father was a successful businessman. But when my father died, our business collapsed. We found ourselves living in a squatter area. I found myself begging. Yes, I'm begging. You know, from EDSA, EDSA, Congressional, no? Going to Quiapo, we just go there, we just go there by walking, not riding, you see, back to back. Are you still listening? To beg? To buy some food? Nandiya pa ba kayo? Are you still with me? But I thank God from poverty. Amen. The Lord raised me up. Amen. From poverty to one of the richest people in the Philippines. <laughs> By faith. <laughs> I'm not rich, but I could say that I'm not poor anymore. Amen. I'm eating seven days a day, seven times a day. You see? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, ah, merienda, lunch, merienda, another merienda, and dinner, and midnight snack. You know, people are living in poverty because they do not know how to pray. They do not know how to ask from the Lord. But if you do know how to pray and ask God's help, you know, the Lord will bless you. Amen? Saan sa ngayon? Makikita niyo ba nagaling pa ako sa squatter area? No? There's no trace that I came from squatter area. Amen. At ako pa ho ba rito? Wala na sa anyo ko na galing ako sa squatter area. Diba? People will not believe that I used to live in squatter area. You know why? Because I'm wearing expensive coat. This is a branded coat. My coat, I tell you. This is branded. Jiggy, I tell you. A branded coat, coat that cost me handsome. <laughs> yes, a branded a branded necktie, a branded belt, and a branded and expensive shoes, and a branded and expensive face. <laughs> oh, I just want to thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord raised me up from rugs to riches. Amen. Because the Lord is good. And God is good all the time. Amen. Hallelujah! God is good! And all the time! Yes, nobody will believe if I will tell people, you know, I used to live in squatter area. I used to beg. And they will say, really? Kasi hindi naman ako mukhang 
mukhang poker na ngayon eh. Hindi na ako mukhang ulilan ngayon. Diba? Diba? Ito ang pahuman rito. Binago ako ng Diyos. The Lord changed my life. No? The Lord removed all my sins. And the Lord removed my sicknesses and diseases. And the Lord also removed my poverty. Amen? Because the Lord is good and He is good all the time. Amen? Palampakan natin ng Panginoon. Kaya kung problema mo yung asawa mo, ipanalangin mo sa Diyos yung asawa mo. Kung problema mo yung anak mo, ipanalangin mo sa Diyos yung anak mo. Kung sino man ang problema mo, ipanalangin mo sa Panginoon. Whatever problems you have right now, lift them up to the Lord. Amen? And the Lord will answer. The Lord will make a way. The Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen? As the Lord divided the Red Sea, no? the Lord will divide your problems and trials. What I mean, the Lord will give you victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kaya huwag tayong susuko, huwag tayong nakatras. Amen po ba? Huwag tayong bibigay. At saka huwag tayo yung mga tao nasa Panginoon lang. Pag may problema, pag wala ng problema, umakadin sa Panginoon. Huwag tayong ganun. No? Kaya may problema tayo, kaya wala, dapat lagi tayo na nasa Panginoon. Amen. We must always be ready. Whether we have problems or not, we must always be in the Lord. We must always find ourselves serving the Lord. Amen. Serving the Lord with all of our hearts, souls, mind and might. Amen. Nakikinig pa ko ba tayo? Kahit may problema tayo, kahit wala tayong problema, dapat lagi tayo nasa Panginoon. Kaya, sabihin natin sa ating mga katabi, Lagi ka na nasa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship palagi. Sige, katabi, sabihin mo. Huwag ka lang nandito. Pag wala ka pang pera at nag-a-apply ka pa lang at hindi ka pa nakakasakay, hindi ka pa nakakapag-abroad, nandito ha. Pag nakasakay ka na, nakapag-abroad ka na. <laughs> Nalimutan mo na ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Pisang pag-agawa ay. In English, <laughs> You have to stay in God. You have to stay in our church. This is our church. Amen. And you have to bless this church continually. Amen. Whether you go to to <laughs> to Vietnam, <laughs> don't forget to support this church. Amen. Because this is your church. Yes, you have to bless this church. Amen? Continually. Whether you are here in the Philippines or in other parts of the world, you have to, to bless this church. Amen? You have to attend this church to this church regularly. Amen? May tao pa over dito? Hindi ba kayo magagalit sa akin kung makikiusap ako sa inyo ng heart to heart? No. Pag may problema ka, nandito ka. Pag wala ka ng problema, nandito ka pa rin. Amen? Pag nag-aapalay ka pa na sa trabaho, hindi ka pa nakakasakay sa parko, hindi ka pa nakakaalis, hindi ka pa nakakapag-abroad, nandito ka. Pero nakaalis ka, nakapag-abroad ka na, saka nakasakay ka na sa parko, dapat nandito mo rin yung puso mo sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Amen po ba? Amen po ba? Hindi niyo mo kami bigyan ng buo, hindi ay naman ninyo kami. Eh tao pa, ho ba rito? Eh hindi, kung magkabis na, kahatin niyo lang kami sa pagtulusa eh. Pag kayo ay nasa pagpapala na, pag ganyan-ganyan na lang kayo sa akin, Hello, Pastor. Hello, Pastor. How are you, Pastor? You know, your high is good, but I need cash <laughs> to pay the rent of this church. <laughs> so what I mean is this. If you are in problems and trials in life, so stay in God, stay in this church. Amen. If the Lord, if the Lord bless you, diba? stay in God, stay in this church. Amen? Ayos ba yun? Naunawaan niyo ba yun? Amen. Palakpakan natin sa Lord. What I mean is this, whether we have problems, whether we have, uh, we don't have problems, so stay in God. Manatili tayo sa ating Panginoon. Amen. 
Next, pray for God's strength and provisions. Before trials come, before problems come, before typhoon and storm come, comes, so we should seek, pray for God's strength and provision. Tingin kayo sa akin, ngayon na tayo magpalakas. Ngayon na tayo magpatatag. Amen? Para pag dumating ang problema, kaya natin. Ngayon na tayo maganda para pag dumating yung mga bagyo, yung mga typhoon, ano mang pagsubok ng buhay, nakahanda tayo. Amen? We should pray for God's strength now. God's provision now. Amen? Nakakita na ba kayo ng langgam? Ang mga langgam naghahanda kahit na wala, ulan. At pag dumating yung ulan, ang mga langgam ay nakahanda na. The Bible says that ants have no rulers. But during a uh, chance daytime, no? During summer time, they gathered food, they are gathering food. So when rainy season comes, they are prepared. Amen. They are ready. The Bible says ants have no commanders, have no chiefs, have no rulers. Yet, these ants gathering food, gathering foods during summertime. When rainy days come, they are ready. They are prepared. Amen? So we should follow the good, the good example of ants. May tanong ako sa inyo. Kapag namatay ba ang langgam, nilalanggam din siya? Yung uod ba, pag namatay, inuod din? Hindi nyo, hindi. <laughs> so, ibig sabihin, we should follow the good example of ants. Because ants have no rulers, have no commanders, have no chiefs, and yet, they gather food during summertime and uh, during the uh, rainy days a season, they have plenty of foods to eat. Amen. Kalapakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Sunod. Next. Pray for God's divine intervention. Pwede natin ipag-pray. No? Basahin natin yung awit. Pray for God's divine intervention. Psalm 107 verse 28 to 29. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And He brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. Again, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And He brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. So, ibig sabihin, Ito yan eh. Dumating yung problema, dumating yung pagsubok ng buhay, pwede natin ipanalangin sa Diyos, Lord, tanggalin mo ito. Amen. Amen po ba? Diba? Pwede natin ipag-pray, Panginoon, yung pagbagyong yung Yolanda na yan, paalisin mo yan. May tao pa ho ba rito? Pwede. Amen po ba? No? In the book of Luke, chapter 8, 22 to 25, says, Luke 8, 22 to 25. One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake, so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. Yung, lulubog yung barko nila, yung mangka nila, sapagat meron dumating na bagyo. No? At ang oras na yun, tingnan natin, tuloy natin ang pagbasa. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to the road. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Amen. 
Dumating yung bagyo, di ba? Kasama na na si Jesus. Natutulog si Jesus. Ginising na na si Jesus. Sabi nila, Panginoon, Panginoon, Master, Master, bumabagyo na po, lulubog tayo. Anong ginawa ni Jesus? Pinatahimik niya yung bagyo. God has power over the storm. Pwede niyang He can stop the storm. Amen? He can stop the typhoon. Amen? Because God is so powerful. Kaya makikita natin sa aklat ng Luke 8.22-25 pati kanina yung Psalm 100 ano bang verse yun? Yung kanina tinan natin again at Uh, basahin natin muli, shall we read again Psalm 107, 28, 29 Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and He brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper, the waves of the sea were hushed. Balik tayo sa Luke 8, 8 One day Jesus said to His disciples, let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and sat out as they sailed He fell asleep, a squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped. And they were in great danger. Pakasabi, great danger. Tuloy natin ang pagbasa. 24, the disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Pasahin ko uli, ah. He got up and rebuked the wind. Jesus got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Pwede natin hingin sa Panginoon. Lord, ang ingay ng asawa ko, patahimikin mo. Nagwawala ang asawa ko, patahimikin mo. Amen? Pag nag-iingay ang asawa mo, nagwawala asawa mo, wag mo nang sabayan. Kasi baka mabasag ang pintuan ninyo. <laughs> mabasag ang mga plato ninyo. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Kung merong maigay sa inyong tahanan, ang gawin mo, manalangin ka na lang. Sabihin mo, Lord, isipin mo ang bibig niya. Diba? Nagiginig pa ho ba kayo? Amen po ba? Diba? Applicable din yan eh sa mga problema ng buhay. Diba na pag-aralan natin? Diba? Storms and trials are also symbol or I mean storms and typhoons are also symbol of trials and problems in life. Maliwanag ba yun? If Jesus can stop and rebuke the storm and the wind, Jesus is so powerful has an ability to also stop the problems and trials that you are encountering right now. Amen. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Jesus can stop your problems and trials that you are encountering right now. Sino yung mga problema ngayon? Yung mga pagsubok ng buhay ngayon? Be honest to yourself. Wala, wala bang may problema rito? Wala bang may mga pagsubok dito? If right now, you are in great problems and trials, you can ask God to stop the trials and problems. Amen. May tao pa ho ba rito? If God allows problems and trials in our lives, maybe God has a reason, has a purpose. Yes. Maybe the Lord wants us to become strong in our faith. Yes. Hindi lahat ng problems and trials ay galing sa Diablo. Not all problems and trials are coming from the devil. Sometimes trials and problems, though came from the devil, are allowed by God. Like the thorn of the bless of Apostle Paul. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 says, I sought the Lord Christ 
to remove the stone of the blast away from me. This is not sickness and diseases. These are persecutions. These are insults that uh, Apostle Paul were encountering during his days, during his uh, service to the Lord. And the Lord answered, No, I will not remove the stone of the blast. Even though the Lord, he, he sought the Lord thrice. I sought the Lord thrice, Apostle Paul says, to remove the stone of the blast away from me. But the Lord says, no. Because if I will remove the stone of the blast away from you, you will boast. Magmamalaki ka. Apostle Paul says, because of the surpassing revelations that God has given unto me, He has given me a stone of the blast that I should not boast. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? So God allowed the turn of the blessed the apostles life for a divine purpose. Sometimes God allows problems and trials in life for a divine purpose. Maybe to bring back us again to the Lord. Because many are wandering away from the faith in God. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? So, Sometimes problems and trials in life are a wake-up call of God. Pakisabi, wake-up call. And sometimes problems and, problems and trials in life, God allows all, itong lahat ng ito to make us strong. Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? To tell you frankly and honestly, it's not easy to become a pastor. Yes, you have to undergo different trials and problems. Yes, because pastors must be strong, right? Dapat ang mga pastor matitibay. If I will not undergo problems and trials in life, I will find myself quickly. So hindi ako hindi ako pipwede na maging pasto. You will not believe, but I tell you, before you become a man of God or a woman of God, the Lord will, uh, will allow you to undergo different problems and trials. Yes. To give you experience. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Experience. Kinakailangan magaroon ka ng karanasan. Many people know God by history, by religion. But the Lord wants us to know Him by experience. It's not enough to have a religion. You must have personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Personal encounter with God. Hindi sapat na meron kang relihiyon kinakailangan ka meron kang personal na relasyon kay Jesus. Alam mo, dapat tingin kayo sa akin, malapit ako magwakas. I'm almost done. Look at me and look to me and listen very carefully. I'm almost done. If you will not murmur, if you will not murmur, sa mga nararanasan mong problema ng buhay, if you will not murmur over trials and problems that you are encountering right now. If you will just pray to God to give you strength and seek God base, Lord, bakit ko ito nararanasan? Why I, why I am experiencing all these things? Na kapag hanapin mo lang ang mukha ng Panginoon, alam mo, tatatang at titibay ka, eh? amen? Yes. The Lord will strengthen you if you will not murmur over trials and problems that you experience. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Listen very carefully. This is the time that the Lord will use us effectively mightily. This is the time that we will bring more souls to the kingdom of God. 
This is the time that the Lord will pour out His divine supernatural power. This is the time that the Lord will display His glory all over the face of the earth. And the Lord wants us to use us. The Lord wants to use our lives to bring more souls in the kingdom of God. Nakikinig ko ba tayo? God wants to use our lives to display His glory over the world, not just in your nation, not just in this nation, but all over the world. Tagalogin ko in Tagalog. Gusto ng Diyos na magligtas ng maraming kaluluwa. Gusto ng Diyos na ipakita ang kanyang malakas na kapangyarihan sa mga sa buong mundo. Gusto niya ipahayag ang kanyang sarili sa buong mundo. At gusto ng ganun ng Diyos na gamitin tayo. Nakikinig ko ho ba tayo? So we have to offer our lives to God. We have to consecrate. Pakisabi, consecrate ourselves to the Lord. We have to offer and consecrate our, our lives before God. Allow God to use our lives to save souls. Amen? Allow God to use our talents to glorify God. Amen? Allow God to use our everything to save souls and glorify God. We must offer willingly offer our everything to God so that the Lord will use our lives for God's glory. Amen? Walang pa natin ang Panginoon. Nakausap ko si Pastor Rabanji na nakaraan. Sabi niya sa akin, Salamat sa buhay nila Benihi, nila Mori, si Rulo. Nandiyan pa rin sila. Pero para sa inyong kaalaman lingkod ng Diyos, nandiyan pa rin sila. Pero kayo na po ang gagamitin ng Panginoon. Amen. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? At gusto kong sabihin sa inyong lahat, sa maniwala ka sa hindi, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos ngayon sa aking buhay ay masyadong napakalakas na magdama ko. Sabagat ang kapangyarihan ng, ngayon ng Diyos sa aking buhay ay hindi lamang para sa Pilipinas, kundi para sa buong mundo. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? I just want to tell each one of you, the power of God in my life is getting greater and greater. Yes. I feel it. I feel it. Nararamdaman ko. Why? Because the Lord wants to use my life to save and bless and touch more lives for His glory. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Gusto kong sabihin sa iyo, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, sa ayaw mo sa gusto, yayaman ka, sabihin mo. Sa ayaw mo sa gusto, magliligtas ka ng maraming kaluluwa. Sa ayaw mo sa gusto, pagpapalain mo ang maraming tao. Whether you believe it or not, the Lord will use your life to save souls. Whether you believe it or not, to believe, whether you believe this or not, the Lord will use your life to touch and bless lives. Because this is the time that the Lord wants us, our lives, to be used by God mightily effectively in this final hour. You will not believe, but I, 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 I want to tell you this thing. The Lord told me long, long time ago, Son, you will have your own radio ministry. Son, you will have your own television ministry. Long, long time ago, the Lord told me, Son, you will hear your voice not only in the Philippine Islands, but in different parts of the world. And for your information, this is happening right now. Amen? Hallelujah! Yes! 
the Lord told me, Son, you will write. And what you have written will be read in different parts of the world. And it's happening right now. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Gusto ko makipag-usap sa inyo ng heart to heart. Ulitin ko ulit ito. Huwag ka lang atin sa kingdom of Jesus fellowship. Dahil may problema ka. Dahil hindi ka pa nakakapag-abroad. Hindi ka pa nakakasakay sa barko. Ginagawa mong pahingahan ng kingdom of Jesus fellowship pag walang wala. Pagpuno ka ng problema at pagpuno ka ng pagsubok at pagpunuhan. Nandito ka, nakikita kita, magkakasama tayo. Pero pag napagpala ka na, yumamang ka na, lamangin ka na, at may sarili ka ng barko, ay pinupisan ba ka, wa, ay din? Nakikinig pa mo ba tayo? Hello? Ano yan? Ano ako, ano ang kinag-dispellership? Hello? 